changes in temperature, changes in volume, and changes in concentration do not change the value of the equilibrium constant. But a change in temperature can affect the equilibrium position and change the value of the equilibrium constant. For example, the reaction involving N2O4 and NO2 is endothermic since the enthalpy change in standard state is a positive value of 58.0 kJ per mole. This is denoted by writing heat on the left-hand side of the equation. We treat heat as though it were reactant. Because the process is endothermic, adding heat, that is increasing the temperature, shifts the equilibrium position towards products. Adding heat to the system upsets it as it has grown accustomed to its cool environment. It wants to get back a cool environment. It opposes the change of added heat by subtracting heat. The way it does this is to use up the extra heat to break up bonds in N2O4 forming NO2 in the process. Thus, the position of equilibrium is driven to the right. Less N2O4 and more NO2 are present when the new equilibrium is achieved. The Kc value also increases. For any exothermic reaction in which the enthalpy or heat change is negative or smaller than 0 kJ per mole, heat is treated as though it were a product. For example, for the reaction between the blue tetrachlorocobaltate 2 ion and water to give the pink hexaaqua cobalt 2 ion and chloride ion, we write heat on the right hand side of the equation. In a particular experiment at the start, the reaction mixture is violet, implying that there is a mixture of some blue species and pink species, since mixing blue and pink gives violet. When heat is applied, the reaction mixture turns from violet to blue. This implies that adding heat or increasing the temperature pushes the equilibrium position to the left to favor the formation of reactants. Treating heat as a product, we imagine that when heat is added, the system feels stressed. Having gotten used to being cool, it feels too hot and needs to cool off. It tries to oppose the change by subtracting the heat, so to speak. Its way of removing the heat is to use up some of the extra heat energy supplied to break the bonds between the cobalt-2 ion and water molecules in the pink hexaaqua cobalt-2 ion and make cobalt-2 ion react with chloride ions to form the blue tetrachlorocobaltate-2 ion. Thus, the position of equilibrium shifts left. At its new equilibrium, there are more of the blue tetrachlorocobaltate 2 ions and less of the pink hexaaqua cobalt 2 ions. Kc also becomes smaller. When the system is cooled with ice, the temperature decreases. The mixture turns from blue to pink. The blue tetrachlorocobaltate 2 ion is encouraged to be converted into the pink hexaaqua cobalt 2 ion. Cooling the system upsets it. It has gotten used to the heat. The change is the subtraction of heat. So the system fights the change by trying to recreate some of the missing heat. How? It shifts the position of equilibrium to the right to favor product formation. Bond breaking occurs with the help of heat energy. Bond formation releases heat. In the forward reaction, fewer bonds are broken and more bonds are formed, thus heat is released. Therefore, when the system favors the forward reaction by shifting its position of equilibrium to the right, some heat is recreated. At the new equilibrium, there are more pink hexaaqua cobalt 2 ions and less blue tetrachlorocobaltate 2 ions, and the Kc value is larger. For any endothermic reaction, heat is a reactant. It is written in the following format. Heat plus reactants gives products. Enthalpy change or heat change in standard state is greater than 0 kJ per mole, that is, it is positive. Adding heat shifts the equilibrium position towards products. 
and Kc increases. Removing heat shifts the equilibrium position towards reactants, and Kc decreases. For any exothermic reaction, heat is a product. It is written in the following format. Reactants give products plus heat. Enthalpy change or heat change in standard state is less than 0 kilojoules per mole, that is, negative. Adding heat shifts the equilibrium position towards reactants, and Kc decreases. Removing heat shifts the equilibrium position towards products, and Kc increases. Temperature is the only factor that can change the value of Kc, but you are not required to know the reason for this. This will be taught in the module Further Chemistry 2.